every time I vlog in Tel Aviv, I get like a wave of cringe of myself. Oh my God, Leaf just hit me. I can't vlog in public. I'm gonna go off to the side and find a quieter place. I swear I'm gonna have a heart palpitation vlogging in public. It is literally terrifying. <laughs> strawberries are like literally superior they're like the beyonce of the strawberry world look at the, i mean this is literally looks photoshopped in my strawberry excitement i'm here to tell you guys that today we are going to a israeli soccer game maccabi tel aviv against it's say what now okay so we're going let me try that again in the first match between the those two, two teams psv won one zero and now uh, the second game is in Bloomfield. We really, really hope to win. Although PSV is a bit, be it's a better team. If I like, you know, compare it, uh, the two team together. Wash the strawberries for our smoothie. Okay, we are starting our day with a smoothie today because today is a very exciting day. And whenever we have an exciting day, it's smoothie day. We are going to an Israeli soccer game. My first time going to the soccer game in the stadium here in Tel Aviv. Basically what happened was like last week, Ayal randomly and spontaneously invited me to like a second league soccer game. And I had so much fun that I wanted to go to another one. And he was like, but I have to show you a real soccer game in like the real big stadium with the first league team. So I was like, let's do it. And then he surprised me with tickets to Maccabi Tel Aviv soccer game. So today we're going to work from home. We're going to get our nails done. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Literally, I'm so embarrassed. Literally, whenever I vlog, I have a nail appointment because I just like vlog once a month and it always happens on the Thursday that I get my nails done, but that's just part of the process. I feel like you guys should expect a nail appointment on every vlog that I post now. Anyway, so that's our day. We're gonna work from home, we're gonna get our nails done, and then we're gonna go to the stadium. I don't even know what to wear to the stadium. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out later. So let's go work from home. I have a lot of work to do and get the day started. Drink our smoothie. but she's like the healthiest and I'm sure she'll taste good. All right, good morning, Tel Aviv. Avocado slicer. right across from my nail place and I purposely didn't take my wallet today because I was like I want to stop spending money on coffees in Tel Aviv because they're getting so expensive so I was like don't take your wallet you're just not gonna want to buy anything and now there's this really cute coffee shop that like just opened up and I really want to try a coffee there but I have no money so I guess that my wallet trick is working because I'm not spending money but it's been it's hard it's day one of my budgeting and it's hard it's really hard i think the main problem is there are just too many good coffee shops in tel aviv and they're really expensive so it's just a recipe for disaster also this door is so creepy that's my daily rant let's go get our nails done all right here are the final nails i love getting my nails done I just feel like I feel like a new person. Like I'm holding my laptop and I'm just like, runway Tel Aviv. I hope no one saw that. I'm gonna die cringe. Let's walk home and then get dressed for the game. I'm so regretting not bringing my wallet. Like I'm just like, feel like I'm coming off an addiction right now. Like I just need a coffee while I walk around Tel Aviv. So I literally walk up the stairs and I see Eyal with a new friend. Do you want to tell us what just happened? I bought this uh, baby. You just bought a baby? Yeah. Your first Tel Aviv bike. Yeah, no, not first. Tell us the story. Where'd you find him? Where's the love? Marketplace. Place with Marketplace. The guy who sold it to me, he's in the eighth grade, I think. He's in eighth grade? Yeah. Was he a good seller? Did he negotiate a good For price? For sure, but I uh, take him down. <laughs> you you bargained it down. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're about to head out to the game. I decided to wear a yellow pajama shirt because it's the only yellow shirt I had. But Al told me that those are the colors of the soccer game we're rooting for. So we're just gonna work with it. Okay. See the fans start to come. Uh... Let's go to the game. nausea in my life like wow that bus something about it i was... don't know why and you know i'm not sensitive or something <laughs> i too. literally have sick all the i was like suffocating in my yeah. mask yeah, yeah, yeah. but we made it to yafo so we're gonna go get something really quick to eat and then it's game time Yalla. <laughs> So we found a cute shawarma kebab place. This is like traditional Israeli pickled vegetables. And we're gonna eat before the game. And to my surprise, they had vegetarian shawarma. But when I asked what was in the shawarma, they had no idea, but it's vegetarian, so wish me luck. All right, Ayal got a kebab. We got some french fries and we got a classic banana strawberry drink and this is the vegan shawarma in Alafa so let's see how it is Whoa. guys I'm not kidding I'm literally not kidding this vegan shawarma tastes like real meat it's so juicy and tender I'm so impressed actually so impressed with the vegan scene in Tel Aviv like over the past few years like, I'm in a little tiny shawarma place in Yafo and they have vegan shawarma and it's really good. We're lost in the rain, in the rain. All right, we have made it to the stadium. There is Bloomfield Stadium in Yafo. It is a very big, beautiful soccer stadium, so I've heard. I've never been here before. So let's go to the game. Al, do you want to tell us anything about this stadium? Anything we should know? Yeah, this stadium is renovated a few years ago. And now uh, this is the new st uh, stadium, and let's go. It's just soccer, right? Just soccer. It's From Maccabi Tel Aviv, Hapoel Tel Aviv, and Bnei Yehuda. Wow, you can literally feel the energy. It is crazy.
to head home. Okay, so we're back home. I'm ready to reflect on the game. It's gonna be a quick reflection, because I'm tired. Okay, first thing, it was really fun. It was so, so fun. The first thing that, I have a few comments I wanna tell you guys. Okay, I feel like I'm catching up with a friend that I haven't seen in a while, so let me just go in order. There was, there was like this thing happening throughout the game when people would like throw objects onto the field, like lighters or water bottles or whatever it may be. And it got so bad that they had to stop the game and they threatened to stop the game completely to the point that they were like, if one more object is thrown on the floor, we're ending the game. Okay, a few other things I noticed were like, there was no alcohol nowhere. And it's just like such a crazy thing for me because like in America, alcohol, I think it's like a really big part of games. I, I don't even really drink, but like usually people are like holding beers and drinking and in the stadium here, like no one, there was no alcohol. And I was like joking in my head, like they were such crazy fans. Like I can't even imagine if there was alcohol. Like they were throwing stuff sober. Like what would happen if there was alcohol involved? Lastly, it was just such a good energy. I feel like the fans were so loyal, so hype. It was so fun. Like I had the best time, but I will say my favorite part of the whole night, I'm still dreaming about that vegan shawarma. That was good. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun seeing a soccer game in Israel and some vegan shawarma, even though it was a bit rainy. Don't forget to subscribe for more Tel Aviv vlogs. All right, bye guys.